Hey guys, this is Magori, and today I will be explaining what's been going on for this entire year, or at least in my stance. If you guys don't know by now, I've been moving into a new house for nearly the entirety of this year. It's been a long journey starting from January to early October, and I will explain how everything went. At the start of this year, mom was talking to me and saying that we need a new house for not just her and my sister and I, but also for our grandparents. Mom has been getting tired of driving out to their house only to take care of minimal tasks for them. They're at the point where they can't take care of themselves properly. What we did first was look up houses on the market, which always ended up with my mom getting outbid by another customer. Mom was getting frustrated each, every time we try to find a new house that nearly fits all our needs and it's always out of her reach. Then, on February 13th, a thought came to me after we drove home from our last house visit. I said to the mom, wouldn't grandpa need to find a way to maneuver his wheelchair for the doorways? And that's when we thought to ourselves that we're gonna get a new house regardless. I then pointed at a random sign. We went and saw the model house on the 14th. While the lady was talking with another customer, mom asked if she had a plan for one of the model homes, and the lady just gave her a random paper with one of one of the models. We sat down at the kitchen a bit to look at the model. It had everything mom could imagine. Four bedrooms, three bathrooms, a really big basement, a kitchen island, everything that could fit our needs. Best part is that the place is a stone's throw from two gas stations, the hospital, and multiple grocery stores. After looking at the model home and talking with the realtor, Mom had to make special adjustments for Grandpa and Grandma, such as wider doors, a bar in the shower, and a discussion on floors. We chose one of the many empty plots, and this is where we watched the house being built from the ground up. We started talking about designs for the house. Mom ideally loves a dark blue house with no white borders. So this is the design we went with. It has a front porch, dark blue siding, a white front door. When we discussed flooring, we had to switch up plans on vinyl planking. As we found out that if we choose vinyl flooring, Grandpa's wheelchair would leave permanent marks in the floor. The lady who was helping us design the house then recommended we do engineered hardwood. As for the bathroom tiling, Mom and I got to choose our own tiling for our own bathrooms. I chose these beautiful Azulejo tiles. Azulejo is those fancy tiles that you most likely see in Spain or in Madrid. As for the fixtures, we chose the basic essentials because the majority of the fixtures Mom wants are easy to get on Amazon. In the meantime, we went to a beautiful light festival at the zoo. It's called Animals Aglow, and they have a lot of interactive displays for kids such as stars that activate certain displays. For example, a big chameleon that I saw. They had, there was a star you could step on that changes its colors, and then another one to outstretch its tongue. There was also a fundraiser over there to help animals. You probably saw a snippet of it in Video Dumpster Part 7. We saw the house getting built. First we saw the whole of the house, and then we saw it slowly getting built. From the basement to the walls of the house. Around this time I was experiencing back pain because one, I don't work out a whole lot, and two, I sit on the chair nearly all day. So I decided to visit my chiropractor who has been working with my mom ever since I was little. I feel a heck of a lot better now knowing that I don't feel like I'm about to snap like a twig. Within the same month of April, I started to get into tie-dyeing. My work is not really all that perfect, but I do plan to make more soon. My birthday is on the very first of June. That's when Pride Month usually starts. This year I decided on one a different cake as opposed to the regular ice cream cake that you probably get at the store. That's when Dad recommended me this French bakery known as La Bonne Boucher. So, Mom and I went over there and we ordered the cake, which looks beautiful by the way. And we ordered some macarons. They were really, really yummy. For dinner, I was also drinking my favorite alcoholic drink at Applebee's. It's called the Shark Bowl, and essentially it's this pineapple, cherry, fruity, slushy top with a couple of gummy sharks. I don't get drunk off of it, oddly, which is great. <laughs> 
some of the birthday money, I decided to order myself some different regional candy from the UK, which took, I want to say, a month or so. But it was worth it. I'll talk more about it when we get to July. The beginning of the month did not go well. I woke up with a massive chest pain and ended up in the ER. I didn't know what it was, and mom and I almost thought it was cardiac. But no, that doesn't seem to be the case. Turns out it was wool chest pain, or custochondritis. I had zero clue how this happened, but I think it's because I don't sleep with a body pillow. And while I'm sleeping, my body then decides, like, Hey, wouldn't it be funny if I just folded your chest like a book? This month, despite the rough start, we got to see some genuine progress on the house. Mainly, insulation of the outer walls and drywall. It feels slow in the very beginning, but everyone was willing to work on the house. Because mom got a house that didn't have any models where we live. Alongside the house was also my first concert experience. We got to see Cheap Trick, Journey, and Def Leppard. It was at the stadium, so being in a massive stadium was new to me. We had a really great overview of the stage, and the weather was perfect. We didn't bring any earplugs though, and technically we were sitting in front of a speaker. So on the way home, I had a hard time hearing mom. Other than that, it was pretty darn good. We then went to the History Museum and saw the World's Fair exhibit and an LGBTQ exhibit that showed a lot of stuff in the very past about how people with different sexualities grew up. While I was over there, they had an exhibit where it's these big, dry erase boards of landmarks that kids could color upon. So I did what I love best, and that's draw. I managed to draw myself twice, mostly just flying though. Oh yeah, and my candy arrived from the UK. Essentially, what I got are two drinks. Both of them are a drink called Mogu Mogu, and I got two flavors. Pink guava and strawberry. It's... okay-ish, but it drinks a little bit like tea a bit for me because of the nata de coco. I also got these freeze-dried bonbons and assortment of fizzy watermelon candy and Haribo cherries. The fizzy watermelon candy took me by surprise because I got to taste something from five years ago. And by that, I mean I haven't tried fizzy watermelon candy in like five years. Last time I did was back in Costa Rica. The bonbons and cherries are good as well. I was perplexed by the bonbons because I never had a bonbon before, or at least from the UK. And a freeze dried one, it reminded me of a freeze dried Skittle, but bigger. What else did I do? My dad took me to a tattoo artist exhibit, and they had an upstairs area where they had rental studios. A lot of the artists weren't really there at the moment, but I did get to meet one, and he made these ocarinas. I don't have an image of it, unfortunately, but they look pretty cool. As for recordings and whatnot, I started doing events on my Discord server, and hosting them with Ellie, and sometimes other people like Rotomess and Zero Neko. We've also been prepping some videos that you may see on October 12th, so look out for those. I'm starting to get doors, flooring, trim, cabinets, and lights. I started to see my mom's vision come together as the house is being built every day. While discovering the house, our realtor recommended trying the fried chicken over at the gas station that's two minutes away. Mom and I get to try it, and while it's spicy, I really like it. I have a lot of treats I don't see in grocery stores, such as the Sour Bright Octopus. We also went to another concert. This time, it was at an amphitheater. We had Imagine Dragons, and Mom hasn't been to an amphitheater in 20 years. So, here's how it went. Mom was getting up to get pretzels for like 30 minutes, and then for 10 minutes, she was looking for me. Because it was around the time the concert was about to start, and it gets dark. So, here's what I did. I stood up, and Mom was able to find me. Now, you may be asking, how did Mom not find me 10 minutes earlier? She forgot her phone in her chair. Don't know why I didn't warn her before. <laughs> this month is mostly the final touches of the house, like carpet, painting, and some fixes on the house. We're also packing a lot of stuff. This includes stuff from our house and stuff in our grandparents' house. I finished the last of the recordings before I left. One of the last ones being the finale of the Super Mario Sunshine rotation with Wolfgang, Skippy, and Vince. As for the recordings planned in the new house, expect those when the time comes. Such as the continuation of Metopia, Ellie's first Let's Play, and some more stuff on Roblox. So, see you guys then. <laughs>